Hey YouTube, it's Caleb. I recently did an upgrade on my computer. Actually, I finished the upgrade today. I put in a new motherboard and new RAM. Before I, before I only had uh, 4 gigs of RAM, it was DDR2. Now I've got 8 gigs, DDR3. Unfortunately, I stumbled across a problem that I did some research on. I've never actually had this problem before, but, and I, I read about it, and I found out a lot of people are having this problem, and most people don't know the true cause. What's happening is, when people get something that's 8 gigs, of, well, basically anything over 3 gigabytes of RAM, on Windows, it can sometimes cause a problem because what's happening is, well, well, what people are actually having happen, and I had this myself, is they're installing more RAM. Like some people are at four gigs, I'm at eight gigs here, but Windows can only read up to three gigs on a 32 bit system. So, the easiest way to actually, the only way for, and then, well, I should probably explain it more when you do it with more the extra that is more than three gigs is actually reserved for file use which it actually isn't it's just completely unused whatsoever now even though it is still an upgrade from where I was before in speed it can't do near as much in that amount of time as it could before but it can do everything faster the problem with that is I did this specifically so I can play games while hosting my Minecraft server. Which, if you want the IP, I'm going to go ahead and be doing a couple tests on it. It won't be 24-7 yet. I'm going to be working on getting that going sometime soon. But, anyway. The easiest way to remedy this problem is actually to go into Windows. You want to check if you have 32-bit first. If you have 32-bit, then this is your problem. You need Windows 64-bit Windows, which means you have to have a 64-bit processor as well to get anything over 3 gigs of RAM. And I find this stupid because you'd think Windows would be smart enough to have some sort of, or Microsoft should, would be smart enough to have some sort of program to enable Windows 32-bit to allow more than three gigs of RAM to be mapped but for some reason it doesn't no matter how you arrange memory no matter what you do in BIOS it will not matter now some people are having this problem with 64-bit systems and in that case it's because they installed it after they had a smaller amount of RAM in the motherboard itself so instead of getting a new motherboard and RAM they just got the new RAM and so when they put the new RAM in, the, the motherboard was only mapped to certain slots, and they might have added more sticks of RAM, which caused it to get completely unmapped. So they're missing an entire stick, in this case, of RAM. Now, that's not happening with me, because I have 8 gigs, but it's only showing up as 3 gigs, so mine's a 32-bit problem. In the case that the other one is having, most motherboards that actually do that will have a certain selection in BIOS where you can go and uh, remap the memory. I don't know the exact procedure on every motherboard, but most of the time it's right in there with uh, uh, it's either advanced core clocking or core control and depending on what motherboard you have. If I would if you are having that problem specifically, I would go more in detail and go ahead and look up tutorials how to fix it. But as of right now, I just wanted to throw this out there because this is a major problem that I am not too happy with. Because I really don't want to have to upgrade to 64-bit, but it looks like I'm going to have to because I really want this to work. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you have any more questions on this subject, I go ahead and... Send me a message and I'll touch base again in another video. Bye.